Welcome to another episode of the Rugby League Outsiders. My name's Craig. And my name's Carl. And in this week's episode, we're going to look at the 2024 season shirts for the Championship and also some of the shirts for League One. I'm right in thinking, Carl, that some of these shirts have not been released yet or... You know, we haven't, we haven't got them. Uh, yeah, there's there's a few still in production, this sort of pre-order. But good news. Yeah. If you've got 50 quid to spend, you can yeah. buy more shirts in, in, in this category than you could in the Super League one. You could. So there was, what was it, 12 shirts in the last category? And only, and... only two under the 50 quid mark. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So definitely a little bit cheaper. Um, right. We might as well just get straight into it. So the first shirt. Um, starting off uh, <laughs> uh, with, with the away kit, yeah. <laughs> yeah, starting off uh, the Barra shirt. Carl, what's your immediate... Oh, let me just let me just fucking start again. This is all over the place. Um, I just want to say, like the last one, if you watched that, it's not our aim to piss anybody off or to offend anybody. You know, it's just our opinion. Um, we will have a little bit of a laugh about it as well. So, uh, but what I will be interested in is your opinion. You know, what is your favourite shirt? What is your worst shirt? What do you think to some of these designs? And um, you know, and we'll do it in you know in in a friendly manner. Is I suppose what I'm uh, what I'm trying to say. So, um, right, let's get into it, Carl. First one being the Barra shirt. So, what have you got to say about this little cracker? <laughs> well, they're home away um look the home shirt's a middle of the road barrow shirt isn't it we tend to score everything with a seven if it's traditional it's traditional uh it's got an integrated logo i ain't got much to say about it the away shirt on the <laughs> other hand yeah he's uh, uh, he's uh, the color scheme i don't mind the the stripes is just it looks like a terrible football shirt if you ask me yeah, no, I agree. It looks like an old school, terrible football shirt. Not uh, <laughs> not keen on, on it at all. Um, so, uh, yeah, I won't be scoring that very high at all. What have you got for your scores there? Out of 10? Uh, I'll I, I give it a six for the home shirt. And the, oh man, that'll work it. I, they, surely that's not going to sell. <laughs> I'm going to... Oh. <laughs> It's a shit. It's like we've almost started a negative. We started the episode and we're like, no, really. Could we sour, started a bit like we should have done reverse alphabetical order, maybe. But um, but then I don't know. Maybe that didn't work either. But it, it looks like a professional designer, hasn't it? Who's the kit made by O'Neills? <sighs> Give it a three, mate. <laughs> really? I can't, I can't can't score any higher than that. Do you know what? I'm gonna agree. I don't often do this, but I'm gonna agree with you. I'm gonna um I'm gonna give the home shirt a seven because it's kind of alright. Um looks modern enough. I don't think the layout of the logos on the the lapels quite I think they could you know that that one on the left as you're looking at it could have been orientated in a slightly different way, perhaps would have looked a bit better. Um, yeah, so that, that's the score for that. And then I agree, a three. I think it's a I think it's a terrible design with the yellow piping. You just I think it's gold. don't <laughs> like it. Say again. I think it's gold. I, the, I've never really seen a rugby league shirt where stripes work. Hoops tend to work, don't they? But is that just us being boring and well, the traditional? Well, the, the pinstripes don't, don't work. You know, I've seen, seen a couple of shirts with that pinstripe vertical stri- it doesn't I'm trying work, to think if I've seen any rugby league shirt where stripes worked what well, vertical stripes like that yeah. thin stripes <clears throat> nah nah I don't uh... nah I can't think of okay so that's that what price we got Cal 50 quid 50 quid there you go middle, 50 quid for that middle of the road pricing okay here we go uh, Batley Bulldogs right, I'll start What's with the po- your... I'll start with the positives Right. 40, 45 pounds is 45 that. quid. Yep. So, uh, yeah, look, it's the home ones. Are, it's, it's a battle shirt, and it? Uh, it doesn't look particularly high end to me, but at the minute we are only looking at um, a, a, a graphic. We have the, the, the completed shirt in out. Um, I, I really don't like the away kit, though. No, I'm, I'm the same. I don't like the away kit. Uh, I like. I don't say I like. I'm not, but I'm not. You know, I think, like you say, it's a it's a battle shirt. Um, the the repeated kind of tight banding on the arms mm. and the chest. I'm not sure that kind of works for me. Uh, it's, it's not. It's definitely not the best. It's definitely not the the worst. Um, I, I think I think the uh, the away shirt is a little bit of a shocker. So uh, I'm going to score this now just to get us going. So I'm going to give the away shirt a four. 
because I, I, I think it's I think it's pretty poor. Uh, and I'm going to give the uh, the home shirt a run of the mill um, six. six. I, I would six. I wouldn't. I wouldn't kind of yeah. Rush I think, out to I, buy I think it. the the home shirt. It's a bit Brisbane Broncos like you know, Batley Batley's colours are their colours out there. They can't move away from that. Um, logo placement could have been a bit better, is what I would say. Um, one of the only kits made by Raven Sport as well. Yeah. So yeah, a bit of a one off that. Uh, I'll, I'll give home shirt. I'll give it a six, and I'll give the away shirt a five. Okay, cool. Let's uh, let's move on pretty quick. Flying through these today. Man, we've got 20 to get through, so we've done two. Let's oh, yes. Going. What a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so... Well, uh, I, I have actually got quite strong opinions on these. Have you? It'd be yeah. interesting. Like, if you haven't watched the last episode where we go through the Super League, um, if we go through the Super League shirts, then then go and look at it. But obviously, Leeds is a team I've followed for a long time. And and I did give them a bit of a slating, or, you know, with their shirts. I, I, weren't, and I weren't particularly favorable on about them shirts so uh, it's interesting carl that you might have uh, you might have your own sort of op- strong opinions on the bradford shirt as well so the home shirt i really like it well of course you do because it, it's a freaking bradford shirt yeah but it's it's traditional but it's it, it's slightly modern it's got on the down down under the arms it's, it's got the v that it's got on the top of the chest the small detailing on on the on the on the edge of the arms i think works uh kappa kits i'm not predominantly a big fan of to be if, to be honest with you I hope, yeah. i'm hoping they've improved the quality uh from last time we had them uh, so yeah i think the i think the home is is a strong kit i think it looks good yeah but it's still that run in the mill you know a, a, a basic basic shirt um, um, it does look good i'll give it right bradford you, you sent me the images of some of the players wearing the kit and it, it looks good kind of on you know in, in like the in the, in the pictures, it looked good on on people, if you like. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean, it's yeah. not just like a, a t shirt like flat thrown on the floor. Um, I don't know. It just seems like the 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 the, the, the coloured V just stops at the shoulder. That that seems weird to me. Um, I don't know. I don't like the cuffs, you know, around the around the the bicep. I just oh, the, the that's they have quite like that. Do you like that? Yeah, I thought oh, that were all right. Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, what about the uh, what about the away? What Halifax Rhinos? <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit that, isn't it? A bit. It a bit I, I, oh, I get, it's... What about the camo design? Do you like the camo design or no? No, like it, that. Well, it's not a camo design. It looks like it's a. It looks like someone's photographed a swimming pool. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you know what it might be? Marbling. Yeah. It's the marbling. They, they like a bit D- of marbling. David Hock. <laughs> David Hock. It was a Bradford artist, wasn't it? <laughs> and he, tried, he did that famous painting of a swimming pool. Maybe that's what the inspiration maybe is. For. Maybe it is. No, I'm making that up. Yeah. I don't know. But, uh, no, I, I, look, I, I don't like it. Um, I, I, I won't like it on any team. I'm just not a fan. There's not even any Bradford colours on there, which well, I there don't is, suppose really no, there matters. Is, there's, the, um, there's the black and the sort of black and gold. No, but it's I navy. don't think it really I think works. It's navy, is that navy? Yeah. Is it? Your eyes are going. going. No, my eyes have gone. Man. <laughs> gone. Hence the freaking glasses. But um, no, I think maybe maybe it's the colour on the on the screen. I don't know. Like, it just doesn't seem to work with a Bradford badge on it for me. Okay, well that's a shame because you know this is your hometown club and you, you're kind of slating it a little bit. No, so no, what are you gonna what are you gonna score it, Cal? Uh, home shirt, solid eight. Eight. Yeah, it's a good shirt, that is. It's not a good shirt. It's a fucking Bradford shirt. Oh, dear. Right, go on then. And, and, um, and the away shirt, I'm going to give it a five. Yeah, right. I, I don't like this. I'm going to give, I'm, I, I want to give it a six, the home shirt. But a gonna, six? Because, because it's hell. freaking Bradford and, you know, what else I'm going to give quite it? I live Leeds' shirt. Listen, so I'm going to give it a seven. I'm going to give it a seven so that, you know, I'm not slating it completely. And I'm going to give the away shirt a five, I think. It just doesn't work. I don't. I don't particularly like the colours. Uh, I don't like the way the colours, well, they don't complement each other. Um, so, yeah, that's uh, that's it for me. Move on? Yeah, yeah, let's go. Okay, moving on. Next shirt up, we have the Dewsbury Rams. Dewsbury Rams, wow. Uh, go on, I'll let you go. Yeah, the home shirt straight away looks very, it looks like, Freaking cartoony. I don't like it. And we, we we had this conversation before about the Super League shirts. Like some shirts are let down by the style and the colour scheme of the of the logo, of the sponsor, you know, and I think this is what's happened here. I don't think the whatever shape that's called on the centre of the chest helps. 
Um, the the color of the YBS on the home shirt it just does doesn't work. They integrated that they integrated on, it on, on the, the away one. shirt. So why don't they do it on the home shirt? They integrated it on the away shirt, and it looks really. I think it looks better yeah, it on does. the away shirt, and and also you can see that they haven't got that shape around it where it kind of emphasizes the the logo. Um, so I think that I think the home shirt's poor is what I'm about to say is what I'm trying to say. Um, and and I don't mind the mint of the uh, of the away shirt. I quite quite like that. Yeah, the home shirt for me don't work. Uh, I don't like the swooshy shape in the middle. Like uh, exactly the same as you said, the YBS logo just doesn't suit, doesn't sit well on the red. I don't like the Jewsby Ram badge in the background. Does nothing for me. But I don't mind the away kit. I like nice sort of refreshing colour. Again, look good at the summer bash that would in Blackpool. Yeah. If the summer bash still existed. <laughs> um the, the design's okay on the on the on the away shirt. They've gone for a bit of a V. It, it's one of them designs where it hasn't decided whether it's a V shape or it's a uh, a hoop. So, yeah. so they've got both on there. Yeah. One one or the other, I think, would have looked better. Um, but I do like the colour. It's quite refreshing. It's quite modern. As, but yeah, so uh, yeah, go on, score them then, Craig. Okay, so I'm going to give the home shirt. Uh, Fucking <laughs> four or a five? Four. Four. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to give the away shirt um, seven. Seven. You know what? I'm giving exactly the same scores. Mate. High, high seven. A high seven. Right. Okay. Doncaster next. Oh, Donny, let's go. Right, Carl, your reaction to this little beauty? I think it's strong. Yeah. yeah. It's, 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 um, it's, it's a blue and yellow hooped blue and amber hoop shirt isn't it um sponsors look good uh they don't detract from the design oxen well made kit um presented professionally um well chuck it is saying actually doncaster's website and all their branding and everything is um far superior to a lot of the other teams in the championship um obviously they've just been promoted um how they're going about things off the field seems to match Super League standards. So they've, you know, clearly taken the IMG uh, criteria on board. So yeah, when I was going through the website, everything looks looks professional. Yeah, I, I agree. You know, we talked about like there's not a lot you can do with hoops, and sometimes there's not a lot that you can do with your club's colours and all this kind of stuff. But I think these guys have done something different. You know, they've got this like double. They've got like a double hoop, yeah, then a blue. You know, a double hoop and a blue, and 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 it. You know, I think I think it it works it works quite well. I I, I like it. Uh, so for, I'm going to go straight into the scoring. I'm going to give this a high seven again. Yeah, and I'll match that. I think it's a it's a it's a high seven. Yeah. yeah. So it's a it's a good shirt. I'm still waiting on their away kit at the minute. Yeah. Good effort, Donny. Right. Okay. On to the next one. <laughs> <laughs> right i'm laughing i'm laughing here because last season last season of the podcast you like you know you you, you, you know you fucking went for feathers in a couple of times <laughs> so uh what, what are you saying here carl this is exactly the same as i said on on one of the other shirts it hadn't decided whether it's a v shape or it's a hoop it's just got a bit of everything going on um It'll be popular in Featherstone, but I'm, I've no doubt. Um, I'm sure both fans will buy it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Cheap, You're going to cut that bit out of you. Cheap gag. Um, I, I don't like how both the home and away kit are practically the same shirt. Well, have yeah, you noticed they've got they're different just, sponsors? What's that about? Well, that's probably a good bit of business, actually, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Integrated logos looks good. The logos don't detract away from the shirt, so yeah, it's, it's, they're, they're, they're a solid effort. They don't, they're not, they're nothing spectacular, but they're not terrible. I think. Do you know? I think this would have been better if that the the arrow at the bottom was flipped. Yeah. You know, um, I think that might have looked a little bit better. Uh, um, yeah, I, I think. It, yeah, it's a it's a bit of a strange one, isn't it? Yeah. Um, you know, I, I like it. I think it's a a good shirt for. Uh, you know, compared to a lot of the other shirts in the championship, uh, the mint green again, like I've said con you know, repeatedly, it's um, it's it's popular. It seems to be quite popular at the minute, and it works really well with the with the navy. Um, but you know, steady the middle. I'm gonna I'm gonna give them um, I'm gonna give them both sevens. Like, not a lot more to say. Yeah, I think I I agree. I think they're both sevens. Um, they're, like I said before, they're not terrible. They're not. 
they're not spectacular, are they? The, the Fed shirts. Yeah. Okay, here we go. <laughs> what are you going to say about this? Do you want me to just be brutally honest? Yeah, just be fucking it's honest. An man. absolute shocker that is. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's got it's got this V going on at the top. Yeah. And then it's got a massive area of white space, but yeah, it's got stripes on the arm, and then it's got stripes on the bottom. Yeah. Um, uh, it, it's not traditional Halifax colours either, is it? No, it's not. it they've gone for a like a sky blue. A, a sky blue. Um, a lot. I've, I really don't like it. I, it, it it doesn't look premium. It, you couldn't see a Super League team wearing that, could you? It, it, it says to you, "This is this is not top end rugby league." That's what that shirt says to me. Yeah, I, I agree. It looks a bit chip shop. I just the, the, the coloured logos they don't really work. And I think if you'd have integrated the logos, the same colour scheme, it'd have almost looked worse. A little bit like the Saint shirt. Saint shirt, I think, just looks really, really cheap and budget. And yeah. this, this looks. This looks the same to me. Um, I, I just, the colour shame. just looks naff. It just, I don't. I, it just, it just look. It looks cheap. Yeah, uh, and obviously no, no away shirt. So, uh, which we believe is going to be black and yellow. Well, I'm guessing because the when you go on Halifax's website, it's, there's two options: black there's a and toggle, isn't there? black and yellow option or blue and white option. So, uh, I'm I'm thinking it's going to be black and yellow. Yeah. Um, yeah, so bit of a poor, bit of a poor effort there. Uh, I'm, I'm going to give that a three. I think, I think it's a terrible design. Oof. I'm sure Gareth Widdop will look good wearing it though. <laughs> yeah, he will in his uh, in his last season. Um, so you're giving it a three, uh, and uh, yeah, I, I'm with you, mate. That is a that is a three. A three every day of the week. Yeah, you can't say I'm biased because it's my hometown. Like, you know. Not that I really follow Halifax, but it, you know, it's oh, I'm town, but it's sports leads. Yeah, <laughs> we'll stay out of that one. <laughs> right, here we go. So, uh, Sheffield Eagles, Carl, what, what you said about this? Uh, two strong designs, I think. I know you're not, you're not a massive fan, are you? The home one, I, I think the no, everything's tidy, looks professional. Um, the gold with the red always looks pretty strong. I think they've uh, rather than going with the bright amber that they've had before, they've gone with the the sort of gold uh, the sponsors look good. They're in the right place. Uh, I'm talking about the home shirt, by the way. Yeah, um, yeah traditional V. Thank God, nothing spectacular about it, but I think it's strong. I think it looks good. Uh, I disagree. I don't like the home shirt. I like the away shirt. I think the away shirt. There's some subtle, there's some subtle intricacies to the shirt and I think it really sets it off and I like it. I like that a lot. Yeah. Um, definitely. You know, it's the best shirt I've seen so far. Uh, the home shirt, I think it's terrible. I'm going to score it a four here and now because I, I don't even need to think about it. I think it's, I think it's terrible. Um, and I'm going to give the away shirt an eight. All right, well, I think the home shirt is much better than that. I'm going to give that a seven. Uh, but I'm also a big fan like you of the away shirt. It's a, uh, it's tidy. It's, you know, it's, it, it doesn't jump out here, but it does have some, like you've said, some subtle design uh, in there. The logos don't detract away from from the team in any way, shape or form. Uh, it looks good. Uh, eight for the away shape. Okay, moving on. Flying through these today, Cal. Um, yeah, we've got plenty to get through. Yeah, we have. Uh, right, okay, so the next one coming up is... Here we go, so Swinton Lions. Uh, what are you saying about this, Cal? <laughs> Yeah, the the, the it, guffaw it, has, uh, says it all. If any, if a sponsor was ever going to ruin a shirt, oh no! <laughs> there we go. That's um, glossop caravans. Glossop caravans. Well, it, I mean, it, oh, I'm, oh, I'm struggling with what to say with this. Look, traditional home shirt. Um, it's actually all right. The home shirt. It, it's again. It's just one of them shirts. That's, there's nothing new about it. It's it's been done before. But it's done quite well, um, and then they've gone. They've unfortunately got that awful sponsor in the middle, which just absolutely kills it. I've got to say, like a great sponsor, just a, just a, the logo is you know a little bit of a killer. Um, yeah, that's that's one that logo would work on the back though. You put it on the back, yeah, it would yeah work. on top at shoulders or something like that. Yeah, but I suppose they're not going to pay all that money beyond no. back at shirt, are they? No. What do you think of the away shirt though? I don't like it. I don't like green. it. I think it's, uh, you know, Hulk green. I, I don't like Hulk green on, on anything, even, you know, mm. it's just, yeah, just, I just don't, I don't like it. I don't, I, I, same, same as you. I've not got a lot to say about it. Either. 
Yeah, they yeah, it's just they don't feel like there's a lot of effort being put in there. This is another Patrick shirt who are responsible for the Lee Leopard shirt. Yeah. So, yeah, I, look, the green works for like Canberra Raiders because it's got the green and yellow with the, the white on it. I think that always looks <clears throat> strong, but the green and blue just doesn't seem to... Do you know what they should have probably done? Because that logo on the is so bright, the, yeah. the sponsor, they should have probably gone with some sort of orange in there somewhere um, rather than going with the traditional colour just to try and... I think if you'd have put orange, if you'd have put orange stripes on the arms, mm. you'd have broke that logo up a bit and that'd be probably half decent better, shirt. It? Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. it'd be, you know, orange collar. And uh, I think you kind of, you, you, you know, you, you work with the logo, but I suppose you know can you do that as a club can you align yourself to another business's logo it's uh um, i can't see why not it's been, oh, yeah. been done before hasn't it um one thing i would say that i couldn't find a price for this shirt so they've released it onto the website and the, not planning on selling it i can't see I, I, I can't see anywhere that you can buy it or i'm not probably been looking in the wrong place but this is just a blog post at the minute uh we know pricing yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, so, if so. anybody knows the price, then let us know in the comments, and um, you know, we'll. Uh, our decision's not made, not based on the price, so it doesn't really affect it too oh, much. What if we so. rated them? We haven't given it a rating yet. Uh, Go I'm going to give the home shirt. I'm going to take into account that they've, they've got to work with the the, the sponsor's logo. I'm going to give that a six, and I'm going to give the away shirt a four. <laughs> you um yeah six did i say six I said yeah six. you said six six for the home shirt do you know what the home shirt no i'm gonna i'm change that i'm gonna give it a seven it's it's all right that it's, it's um but it's a very run-of-the-mill design there's nothing new gone in there is it uh i'll give the away shirt five i just don't think it works with the uh with the blue Okie dokie, right, moving on. Um, right, Toulouse, Toulouse. Th thank God for the French. <laughs> <laughs> I, I never thought I'd say that. Um, I I'm going to go out there and say these are two of the best kits that have come out all year in Championship League One and the Super League. They've absolutely nailed it. Yeah, I think it's just classy. You know, it really is classy. You know, we've spoke before about, you know, you get a couple of colours as a club and then you're really restricted on what you can do. But no, you're not. Because, you know, you can use different gradients nowadays. You know, they've got gradients on these hoops. You know, the, the, all the logos are integrated. Uh, they're the right size. They're the, you know, right shape. It's like they've even designed the kit based on their, their main sponsor. So the, the, the V comes off the sponsor sponsor logo. Yeah, uh, absolute cracking shirts. They are brilliant shirts. I, I love the, the gradient on the home shirt as well, uh, where it's, it's the blue and it fades up to the... Into like a navy. Into like a navy. There's, there's a lot of sort of fine detailing on the white. It's not just a bog standard um, V like we saw on the last shirt. It's a V, but it's gradient and it's got some detail in there. Yeah, class shirts they are. Uh, what are you going to score it, Carl? Oh, can I give a 10? Yeah, of course you can. Do, do whatever you want. Do you know what? I'm giving both. Both. I'm going to give the home shirt 10. No, I'm giving them both 10s. Really? It's 10s for Toulouse, yeah. Uh, right, for me, the only thing that I feel lets these shirts down is where the V ends abruptly as it meets nah, nah, that, the shoulders. That, that, oh, do you know what I mean? That that's the only thing. That, yeah, that's, but, that's why I'm not yeah, but giving you, it. You got the cut of the arm there, so yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, you got a panel of the arm. Yeah, you know, I don't know. Hey, I'm not a designer, so yeah, I don't know what the answer is. All I know is I don't like how it's just cut off there. So um, for that reason, I'm going to give the home shirt an eight, the away shirt a nine. Very high scores, then. Yeah, yeah um, very high scores. Just really, really classy shirts. Just I tell really you what's not a great thing though. Sixty-five pounds if you want to buy that. Sixty-five quid. Yeah, the French shirts are so expensive. Seventy-five euros. Yeah, well, I mean, the thing is, the all the prices have gone up since they got out of EU. Oh no, no, that's not. <laughs> <laughs> well, definitely no. won't get into politics. That's, and no, shit like that's that. another episode. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right, moving on. So Toulouse, really high score there. Really, really good shirt. Really interested to hear what you think about that. Um, 
Right, here we go then, Carl. This should be an interesting one from you, the old Wakey shirt. Well, Wakey, we, we had a bit of a laugh with Wakey, didn't we, last year? But everything Wakey are doing at the minute is top class, including... <laughs> <laughs> just give me a minute, I'm choking on my teeth. <coughs> I can't believe you just said that. In, Are you trying to make in, amends in, for in, everything you said last year? Including the, the new shirts. I think they're very good. What? Is this another one where like we're looking at two different <laughs> no, fucking screens look, again? I am a big fan of the away shirt. No, the away shirt's horrible. <laughs> it's fucking horrible. But the home shirt is it's it's brilliant. Well, it, I mean it's it's very uh it's very wakey, isn't it? Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a Wakey shirt. I mean, Wakey, uh, they're quite brave, actually, Wakefield. They've gone with quite a lot of different designs over the years. Um, it, it's traditional colours. There's a bit of design. I, I like it. It's it's simple, but the, the colour scheme works well. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm really big fan of the home shirt. I don't like the away shirt. I don't like the colours. Um, it's the same design. I think that's a little bit lazy, but... Um, yeah, but big fan of the the home shirt, uh, and I tell you what, on the press release that they put out as well, um, it was stood in front of the the new stand, which is in all the seats in that sort of colour. It looked absolutely brilliant. Top bit of PR work that. I mean, the home shirt is just the home shirt. I think what lets it down is the bistro um, logo on the left hand side as we look at it, and um, you know, it's, it's one of them things again. You got to work with the, the logos that you get given, but it just looks. Because of the design of that, I think if they if they made it smaller, you just you just won't be able to see it. Um, so it's unfortunate, but it just looks like it's stuck on. Doesn't really work for me. Um, home shirt, run of the mill. Uh, when I say I don't mean run of the mill, I mean it's just like it's steady. You know, there's, there's not not a lot more to say to that. I don't like the away. It's that blue in it. It's it's sort of. Um... Just looks that it's that blue that looks a little bit cheap, same as Halifax's kit. Uh, yeah, I'm a big fan of the away kit. Yeah. Um, okay, so let's score it. I'm going to give the home shirt a six. I'm going to give the away shirt a four. I don't like it. Well, only, ten, only 10 points between two shirts. Yeah. It's you that's not going to be going to Wakefield next year, son. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get invited to that new stand, don't you worry. <laughs> uh, look, big fan of the Wakefield home shirt. I'm giving that an eight, uh, but not a fan of the away shirt. I'm giving that a five. Brilliant. Okay, let's uh, let's move along. Right, here you go. What do you think about these? This is short to uh, split, split, split opinion. What are we saying? Go on, you can go first. Well, I'm interested yeah. to see their new prop, Nami. Um, see what he's like. <laughs> uh, ter terrible joke. Uh, so, I don't like it. I don't like it. I think the away shirt is a little bit better than the home shirt. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not particularly a fan of that. Uh, split. I'm split on these. Um, I think the home shirt's... Just a bit naff, to be honest with you. Uh, but really like the away shirt. I think yeah. the, the navy with the subtle detailing of the, the amber running through it. Uh, sponsors look, well, you can barely see. That. It's two different sponsors as well. Yeah. Uh, you can barely see the sponsor on it, which is just always a plus. Um, they've got the two sponsors up by the collar of the shirt running in a V so that, that works quite well so yeah the, the away shirt for me is really strong uh, I think that'll look great and I think it'll be a good seller I, I just don't like the away shirt at the home shirt at the home shirt sorry yeah just it's I know it's the same design essentially yeah, but, but it, the same it just works so much better in the navy than it does in the in the uh, in the white alright what well, we're scoring it then Cal uh, oh yeah, I'm going first. Right, so I'm giving the away shirt a seven. Yeah. And the home shirt four. It's a bit of a shocker. I'm going seven. I'm going seven for the uh, away shirt and I'm going to go four as well on the uh, the home shirt. I don't like it. Right. Witness. Witness, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> Witness. Right. So hang on, first thing we'll say is it's that colour scheme that you really like on the away shirt. I like the mint. Yeah, I like the mint. But... Um, do you know, sometimes, like, you, you don't do yourself any favours if you just present it in a shit manner. <laughs> do you know what I mean? And, and, I'm, and I'm, I'm sorry, witness, but I, it just, I think you have. I think you've kind of thrown the, yeah, this, this is like, this is, do you know what this is like? This is like, you've gone to school, you forgot your PE kit, 
right? And you've got to go into Lost Property to get yourself a football shirt to play football. You go in and this is this is what you pull out. The, the, you know, it's... So this shirt like made the, the headlines for all the wrong reasons, didn't it? Yeah. And the reasons were is that the, the presentation of it on social media was really was dreadful. Um, it was a wooden floor with the shirt laid out on it, <laughs> photographed from above, and that's what they put out on social media. Now, I appreciate there might have been short of time and, and, and to get out and all the rest of it, but it, look, there's software out there these days that will get rid of a background like that. It takes nothing to iron a shirt before you pre present it to the world and, and send it out there. Um, so all the talk's been about how it was the presentation of, of the kits rather than, you know, no promo video, no decent photographs. Uh, it just, yeah, it was just presented in a really bad way. Um, but the home shirt, so it, it's, it's based on a bit of a throwback shirt, isn't it? The, the home shirt by the looks of it. Um, it's got the traditional witness badge crest on it rather than the new logo. Um, so it's a, it's a, it's a throwback shirt. It, it's, it's all right. It's a home shirt. Well, you've, you've got to make a throwback shirt look like a throwback, not like you found it at the bottom of the kit store yeah, and gone, do you know what? Don't even bother buying a new kit. We'll just use this one from the 80s. It just, yeah, it's, uh, I, don't, I don't like it. I, don't, I think it's a terrible effort um, from, uh, from Witness. And the away shirt, although I like the colour schemes, I, the, the design just does nothing for me. It's got this like swirly in the background that looks like it's been designed on... Windows 95 or something like that. Just, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm just not feeling either of them. Well, we better leave it there before we piss people off too much. Um, Witness fans get in touch, though. <laughs> yeah, let us know. Let us know what you think, you know. Um, because there, there is a case of, like, you feel like you've been let down by your club or, or you know what I mean? It's just, you know, or, or other people might love it. But I don't know. Uh, some teams have really raised the bar how they've presented their shirts this year. Um and I think that'll make a difference to sales, to be honest with you. We, we've often said, haven't we, it's the, it's the one percenters that, that make all the difference. It's the fine attention to detail. Um, and this doesn't inspire me. Hmm. Okay, uh, we're going to need to score it then, Carl. What, um, what are you going to see? In fact, I'll, I'll score this. Uh, home shirt four, away shirt five. Um, I'll, I'll give the, the home shirt a five. And I'll give the away shirt a four. Right, okay, cool, we're moving on. On to the night, or should I say the, well, it's York Knights and York Valkyrie. Yeah. Because there's two uh, two variations of these shirts. You can have the uh, women's logo or the men's logo. Right, here we go. Um, um, I'm a big fan of York. I like what they do. And, you know, we went up there, we spent a bit of time at York. And because of that, you know, we, we, we thought they did a really good job up there. Um, I like both shirts. I'm, I'm not a big fan of the black and the yellow, but I like the styling of it. Uh, I kind of like the cut of it. I think the colours complement each other. I don't think they're the best shirts in the league, but they're certainly, certainly not the worst. I'm going to echo everything you said there. I'm a really big fan of everything that York are doing, um, how they promote their teams, how the the men's and women's are they're almost like on an equal footing now. They uh, give them PR. They're PR before the games is good. Um, I, I really like both shirts. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I, so I, I spoke about the the Castleford shirt, didn't I, in the last yeah. episode? I said I don't like the black and yellow. Well, this is pretty much the same colour scheme, but the the yellow's slightly more subtle. Uh, the design's fresher. The the small white V under the black V under the uh, yellow V of the home shirt uh, works really well. Um, and the away shirt, I think, is absolutely brilliant. Um, it's got some fine detail in the background. I think you, if you can see it on the screen, there's like a bit of a stone wall effect. Yeah. I think that is um, replicating the the walls around York. I think right. I think that's what that's for. Could be wrong, but I think that's what it's Makes that's sense. for. Makes um, sense. They offer the shirt in both uh, men's and women's, so you can have the York Knights logo on it, or if you buy the women's version, have the York valkyrie logo on it all small little details that'll just push sales up um big fan of both kits especially the away kit right well we need to score it so uh i'm gonna score both shirts a uh, seven i'm gonna score the home shirt 
an eight. Massive fan of the away shirt. Nine for me. Yeah, cool. That's good. Challenging to lose that one. Yeah, not really, because you give them both ten. <laughs> well, it, it was up there. So speaking of uh, challenging to lose, <laughs> oh. they're on to Hunslet. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I don't really know what's... Uh, <laughs> these are straight out of Alibaba, aren't they? Um, AliExpress. <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't like him. I don't, I don't like him. Uh, I don't like the green and yellow, uh, the blue and the claret. I, I can't. Right, my thing, you know, before in in years gone by, I was in the Marines. Our sort of arch enemies, if you like, are the parachute regiment. That's the parachute regiment's colours, and I just can't get past that. Like they just, I just don't like it. Yeah, so the, the the kit last year was a darker orange, um, and it, it, this is the only kit made by Tough. I've never heard of them. Um, clearly, a, a new brand. Um, I, look, the colours just don't work for me at all. I mean, the design's what it is. It's basic, simple. It's it's an off the shelf design, isn't it? That it's not been bespoke made for Huns. Like I wouldn't have thought. Um, I don't like it, and I, I really don't like the the away colours. Um, Light blue with chocolate brown. Yeah, and, and, is that what it is, a chocolate brown? I thought it was like a claret. No, it's like chocolate brown. And then you've got a big red logo in the middle of that as well. Um, look, I, I'm sure the Huns fans will love it, but for me, it, you think? It, it's, I think the disasters them too. One good thing though, I will give them some... <laughs> oh, no, they're good. So these shirts are 50 quid each. Right. Which is middle of the road pricing. But... You can buy a reversible double sided shirt. So, Is that right? Yeah, it's, and it's only 60 quid. So, so you get both. So you can get both bad designs for 60 quid. <laughs> what a bargain, that is. What a bargain. Right, we need to score it. Uh, I'm going to give both a four. Sorry. For me, four for the home shirt. Um, and I don't like the design or the colours on the wear shirt the, the wear shirt's slipping right down to a three for me Carl I'm just going to throw this out because I've just, I've just kind of noticed so they're missing like a secondary sponsor on the chest there mm. if they had a secondary sponsor and it complemented the colours of the Hunzet logo or perhaps the Tough logo would that improve the shirt? maybe <laughs> <laughs> or am, might, I just, am I just clutching at straw? they might get a point two extra <laughs> marks there I think it'll break up those big Blocks of colour that makes it look less like a local school top. Yeah, you know? yeah. It's, uh, I don't know. It's not sure. for me. Okay, right. Let's uh, let's move on. We've scored that. So we're into we're, well, Huns that was uh, yeah. We're into the League One kits at the minute, aren't we? Yeah. So. Right, Carl. So here we go with uh, with the Keefley Keefley um, shirts. What's your take on on these? <laughs> You can't say, oh, yeah, you're a fucking Bradford fan. Uh, well, the Keefley shirts, aren't they? <laughs> um, I've never been a big fan of the colour scheme, green and red, you know, the cat. So, what did I say? Yeah, great, yeah. Um, the away shirt's slightly better than the home shirt. Uh, they do nothing for me, though. I'm, I'm not... Nothing says premium there to me. There's no, there's no fine details in there. There's no little intricacies. It's a, two run of the mill shirt designs that have probably a generic shirt design that the manufacturers used. Uh, yeah, I haven't got much to say about it. No, for me, I, I kind of agree. I do prefer the home shirt to the away shirt. Um, it's all a bit cartoony, you know. The the, the Keefley logo is. Is cartoony, and and I think the shirts have you know the, the, and they've carried that going, and I'm sure like for for the kids perhaps they will love it. Uh, for me, I'm not a fan. Um, they've obviously got. I can only assume he's like a pride shirt there. Yeah, uh, the, that's a shirt they've brought back. Their third kit. Um, they brought that back from a few years ago. I think. I think they've had a pride shirt every year, but that particular design's from a few years ago that was apparently was a really good seller. Um, so it's been brought back. Yeah, I know. I mean, they've, they've, they've had like a bit of an initiative, haven't they, to get uh, LGBTQ plus, uh, I don't know what the full acronym is, so apologies for that. But, um, you know, I, I wouldn't go out and buy that. I wouldn't, yeah, I'm just not keen on any of those shirts. I do, I do like I said, prefer the home shirt to the away shirt. Uh, I'm going to score that six. I'm going to give the away shirt a 
five. Uh, what, what you gone? Six. Six and five. Yeah. I can't even go that high. I just think they're just, yeah. I'll, I'll be generous at fives. Uh, Carl, we're into the Oldham kit now. Uh, what's your thoughts on, on this? Ooh, uh, I, I, I haven't made up my mind about the home shirt. It's another one of them. It's not a V, but it's not straight. It's not hoops. It's not a V. It's, a, it's got a bit of everything going on. Not a fan, really. Um, I, I think the away kit is better, but then the big white box around the sponsor absolutely kills it. Yeah. If they'd have slotted that into... Well, just got rid of the white box, I think, and put a reversible logo on that was all white would have looked better. Uh, I'm undecided on the home shirt. I think it's it's middle of the road. There's a bit too much white going on in in the middle of the design for me. Yeah. Um, they've, they've tried to stick a little bit traditional. Yeah, I'm not I'm not a fan. Yeah, I'm gonna go just score it straight away. The the, the home tee, the home shirts are seven. I'm like you. There's this big block of white. I can't. I, I don't like that. It looks like two shirts. I don't like the top half. I like the bottom half. If they'd have followed the bottom half design all the way to the top, I think this shirt would have been a strong. You know, seven to eight. Um, away shirt. I'm questioning what I see <laughs> as the color because some of my color. It's, I think been, it's black with like an orange. It's like a black with burnt like, orange. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't think, the, I think the colours all right, but it just don't work with that that sponsor in the middle of it. Yeah, um, bad. But then I don't think it's bad. Do no, you know what I, mean? I don't. No, I, I don't it's, think it's a bad design. So both sevens for me, easy. As an easy decision, not. I like think I'll match sevens. you on that. That's both sevens. I, I think it's uh, yeah. The, the home shirt. If you actually look at the top of it, it looks like an old England football shirt. Yeah. If, it, if the rest of the shirt was just mean. white. Um, I know exactly what you mean yeah okay what's the price of that Cal? 50 quid I forgot to say as well the Keefley shirts cheapest kits in the league at £40 each no comment <laughs> <laughs> right here we go Rochdale Hornets uh, Carl what, uh, what's your opinion on these? oh not like oh no no I'm not I'm not feeling them um might be just how they're presented on the digital mock-ups, which I don't think are great either, to be honest with you. I'm sure they'll look better once the actual shirts come out. Um, blue and red, oops. It, it, it looks like a Rochdale kit, I suppose. It's fairly traditional. Yeah. Uh, it, it's a middle of the road. The, the, the sponsor's integrated on both shirts, which I'm a fan of. Um, yeah, it, 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 it's all right. It's a home shirt. Agreed. Seven, seven on seven on home shirt for me yeah um, and me. completely agree that it's just you know it's a Rochdale shirt and it's a more modern design um, but you know it's nothing it's nothing striking but I've no idea what's going on on that away shirt well, as in as in what what, what parts it's, it's, it's just it's just a wacky psychedelic pattern in psychedelic colours I'm just I'm not feeling it yeah, it's like a lava lampy. <laughs> yeah, kind of yeah, like, yeah, I didn't think of it like that. It's, it's, kind of it's, design. it's a lava lamp shirt, yeah. But it's it's this like muted green. It's a strange colour green with, with yellow. Uh, yeah. So. Mm, no. So you're going. I, I'm undecided. I don't know. Maybe it's a shirt that will grow on you. Maybe it's a shirt that you'll grow to hate. I don't know. But at the minute, I'm struggling to kind of place it. So because of that, I'm just going to give it a six. Um, yeah, so you're going for seven for the home shirt. I'm going, I'm going sixes for both. You're just copying me now. No, because you went for seven for the home shirt. Price of this, Cal? £50 to look that good. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, moving on. Right, moving on. Workington Town. And before I even get into Workington's, I've got to give them a special mention for their website. Go on. For the marble effect. <laughs> um, Background tiled background on their <laughs> website i've never seen anything like it um, that's not true do you not remember like the early early websites from like well, the 90s well yeah that is what it looks like yeah, yeah. So, um right so workington they're, they're not going to be able to do uh, you know what it's all right that kit is a home shirt it's traditional workington colors um they've added a bit of light blue onto the band in the middle uh it's all right nothing much to say it's it's not terrible it's not awful um and then the away kit it's gone for a bit of a funky pattern um it's not my it's not my thing that 
Uh, where do we go from here? Right, I don't like all the multicolored logos on the chest. I think that spoils Agreed. what could be a good shirt. Um, I think the way that they've complimented the main sponsor, the, the, the royal blue, I'll call it, and the sky blue, I think that works quite well. The big blocks of white, I think, in the right place. I don't mind the home shirt. I just think those colored logos let it down. And mm. I don't know what the answer is, because like I said, I'm not a graphic designer. I don't really know. Um, I just know that that's what kind of draws my eyes and I don't like it. And I don't like the little F on the freaking uh, uh, fly kicking about this time of year. Um, anyway, so moving on, the away shirt, yeah, funky shirt. I think it, you know, like you said, if the, you know, the there was a tournament or whatever, it's a great tournament shirt. What lets it down for me on that is the blocky logo on the left-hand side of the chest. Yeah. It just cheapens the whole effect. Um, so I'll score these now. I think that home shirt is a seven, being a you know, strong Workington shirt. And the away shirt, they've gone bold. They've tried to do something different. I don't think they've nailed it, in my opinion. So I'm going to give them a five for that. No. Um, I'm going sixes for both. I don't, I don't think either are great, but I don't think they're terrible either. But I wouldn't be spending my fifty-two pound ninety-nine on either of those. Is that it? Yeah, that's it, mate. Right, that's it. So what we're going to do? We're going to do like a best. Are we going to do like a best of the championship, best of League One? Or are we just going to do best overall shirt? Uh, yeah, we'll just block them all together. So you, 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 you what's your, what's your favourite shirt from Championship and League One? It, it is worth saying actually. There's a few teams that haven't released shirts, so. We haven't had a kit from Cornwall yet. Um, we haven't had a kit from the North Wales Crusaders. Uh, we haven't had a kit from the Midlands Hurricanes. Uh, so a few few shirts still to come in League One. Yeah, that's a shame because um, the Hurricanes kit in particular, I, I think it's really strong branding and, and I like that. And I'm not just saying because we're in the Midlands and, and all that. Uh, you know, I really do like their their colour scheme so they have, they have missed the Christmas uh, Christmas boat though haven't they with the Christmas sales which yeah. is uh, unfortunate for all of those teams <clears throat> um, I'm going to well it's obvious you know Toulouse is the winner yeah so Toulouse either Toulouse shirt for me especially the, the away shirt I think is just really stylish I'd wear that every day of the week yeah Toulouse yeah I, I completely agree they've absolutely nailed it um, you know not a, an exciting colour scheme, blue and white, but they've done it in such a way that, it, you know, professional design, It's it looks quality, doesn't look like it's been designed on the cheap. Yeah, it's really, really great. Uh, okay, so on to your worst shirt. The worst shirt uh, for me, unfortunately, has got, it's got to be the Halifax shirt. I, I just, I, I, it just doesn't work. I don't, I don't like it. Um, Maybe it'd have been better if they'd have gone to like the traditional blue instead of like the sky blue. It just, I just, I don't like it. So, what do you think, Halifax is branding the Panthers? Prefer it to the just well, would, they were back to being just traditional Halifax rugby league, weren't they? Last few years back, yeah, yeah, and then blue socks before that. Blue um, socks. What think, do you think of blue socks? Oh, fucking terrible name. Terrible name. Everybody remembers it though. Yeah, they do remember it, but um, but for the wrong reasons. No, it was just it one was of those very, things. Very, very baseball sounded wasn't it yeah it was and you know and American football league baseball league sounding I, I didn't you know I didn't I didn't like it and then so what do I think to the Panthers don't particularly like that either <laughs> so uh, well again that's it's very Carolina Panthers American football isn't it yeah uh, so I just stuck with blue socks personally yeah, I, 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 I really didn't like blue socks at the time a bit of a joke wasn't it but I, I think I actually think it's quite strong branding yeah. um anyway my worst shirt i i think it's probably it huns little way the, the blue and brown thing yeah not a fan of that not a fan of the color scheme not a fan of the design uh just wouldn't be spending my 50 quid on that Brilliant. Okay, so there you have it. The Rugby League Outsiders shirt review for 2024. If you agree, disagree, whatever, then please let us know. Stick it in the comments below and uh, become part of the conversation. Yeah, so if you haven't subscribed already, then please do just to let us know that we're on the right track and you're enjoying the stuff that we're um, that we're pumping out. So um, I think while we're just, just before we're ending, um, obviously we've just done a shirt review. Uh, I know there's a lot of amateur clubs at the minute all sort of hustling for sponsors and that sort of thing um a lot of new 
kit designs sort of coming out from sort of the the community clubs so uh share it with us um and we, we, you know we'd love to get that up on the podcast so we won't be rating it and <laughs> ripping it into it like we, we do professional clubs but yeah it's um share it with us online and uh, uh, we'll get it advertised yeah 100% encourage you to do that so the best way to do that is just you know send it through on any one of the social media platforms or send us a, uh, a message directly to admin at rugbyleagueoutsiders.com and, uh, and we'll be able to pick that up and feature that in the next couple of weeks so thanks as always for listening um, Carl you got anything to say to people uh, no other one um, oh It'd be great if people could vote for us in the podcast awards because we haven't mentioned that. So we have been shortlisted for the the, the national sports podcast awards. Uh, we're up against sort of some very big hitters against the BBC and um, ITV, Sky Sports. Yeah, uh, but we're in there. We're we're in there. So um, yeah, if people can go and and just even if you can give us a vote, even even if we can sort of rank highly in the finals against the rugby league podcast because it's got rugby union and rugby league uh, you know be, that'd be great yeah no I def- definitely encourage you to do that and uh, it'll go a long way helping out to make sure that we keep this podcast going and okay so until the next episode take care that's the final whistle for this week's episode of the rugby league outsiders we hope you've enjoyed it don't forget to follow us on social media and share this podcast with your friends and as always if you have a story to tell a club to plug or a player that deserves recognition we want to hear from you so until next time on the rugby league outsiders take care